The Takarians were an ancient Indo-European people who inhabited the Tarim Basin at what is now Xinjiang, China, from around the early 1st millennium BCE. They are mostly known through the Takarian A and Takarian B languages, which form a distinct branch of the Indo-European language family and are among the easternmost examples of Indo-European tongues. These languages were preserved in Buddhist texts dating from around 6 to 8 centuries common era and were written in a version of the Brahmi script. For this video I gathered 7 Takarian and Proto-Takarian genomes from Xinjiang. 6 samples are dated to the Bronze Age and 1 sample is dated to the Iron Age. According to QP admixture analysis, these people descend mainly from the Afanasyevo culture, an eastern offshoot of European steppe herders that predates the spread of Indo-Aryan languages in Central Asia by a millennia. They were not Iranic speakers, but rather an extinct group of Indo-Europeans in China. In terms of Paleolithic admixture, these people were heavily ancient North Eurasian. There are currently no ethnicities that are as heavily A and E as these people were. A Mesolithic QP admixture run reveals that these people were 51% ancient North Eurasian, 23% Caucasian hunter-gatherer, which also descends in part from the ancient North Eurasians, 12% Western hunter-gatherer, and 13% East Asian. An FST analysis of these samples showed that their closest modern relatives in terms of genetic distance are Tajiks and Tatars from Kazan. However, it is important to note that the FST and F2 values reported here have been standardized. I applied standardization by subtracting the lowest observed FST and F2 values from all corresponding values. This was necessary because the file used in this run was only a partial diploid rather than a true diploid, which resulted in significantly inflated FST and F2 scores. I ran these samples from my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, and here are their results. The most common predicted phenotype was Pamirid and Uralid, although stranded, Arabid, and North Indian phenotypes were also present. Four of the samples had black hair, and three had dark brown hair. Four of the samples were predicted to have light brown, and three samples olive skin tone. The most common predicted hair texture was straight. Greek noses were slightly more common than snub noses, and the samples had a strong predisposition to male pattern baldness. Two samples were predicted to be warriors, and one sample was predicted to be a warrior, with the rest falling in the intermediate group. Every sample scored high for odds of autism, the Takarians had a predisposition to lower levels of empathy, and most Takarians carried risk credits for colorblindness, although most likely none of them actually were colorblind. The Takarians had high odds of ADHD, mostly low odds of depression, and were rather mixed as a group when it comes to predisposition to bipolar 1 and schizophrenia. None of these Takarians were predicted to be lactase persistent. They had average predisposition to obesity. The Takarians had low odds of ischemic stroke, low odds of atrial fibrillation, and average odds of a wide range of cardiovascular issues. The Takarians had a strong predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune condition very prevalent in Western Eurasians. They also had low odds of multiple sclerosis, which is known as a European condition, and a strong predisposition to type 1 diabetes, and another primarily European autoimmune condition. The Takarians had high odds of myopia, low odds of hemoglobin E disease, average odds of type 2 diabetes, and mostly low odds of Alzheimer's. The Takarians had mostly low odds of epithelial cancers, mostly low odds of polycythemia vera, based on JAK2 genotypes, and mostly high predisposition to testicular cancer, based on G genotypes. The Takarians carried the rare risk variants for Parkinson's, hypopastasia, myosclerosis, and other conditions. Only two individuals didn't carry risk variants for any rare conditions. The Takarians had higher levels of LDL cholesterol. No samples carried risk variants for hemochromatosis. Most samples had short telomere length, which leads to shorter biological lifespan. The most common blood type among the seven samples was O. Thank you for watching until the end. 
links to Andre DNA products and services, which include QPI admixture modeling, FST, and F2 runs, and custom FST calculators based on FST, will be in the description of the video. Links to purchase these seven Takari and DNA files will also be in the description of the video. Goodbye.